So today we have a complaint about the malfunctioning rear view camera. The image is divided into two when the gear is shifted to reverse. That issue is related to vehicles equipped with Mazda Connect as you see here. The first thing to check is the software installed and search for newer update. To do so, go to settings, then system and scroll down to choose about and version information. You will see the actual software number on the screen. In this case, we have an older version of the software 7000335, so it needs an update. I decided to update Mazda Connect since that has resolved some other issues. Press Favorites, Volume and Music buttons simultaneously to initialize the diagnostic screen. Choose Code 3 to check the fault codes then 2 to clear them and 99 for an update. Then search and click on the update package. Instruction may vary depending on a software version. That is the first step of any diagnosis related to the entertainment system and that is how it usually ends. So the newest software version is as of now 7000367. I want to emphasize that this problem is not a common issue. It appeared randomly and this will not happen on every car. If you have any malfunction on your Mazda Connect, it may lack an update. The software update is included at every annual service, so if Mazda dealer has performed maintenance on your car recently, you could check if the software is lower than the one in the video. If a newer version is available, I will post that information in the description. Other possible issues, for instance, related to incorrect language translation. Uh, certain Android smartphones may not work as USB audio devices. Another one, when the gear is shifted to reverse, rear view does not appear, and so on. Regarding obtaining the updates, I recommend letting a Mazda dealer perform it. The main reason is that you know where the files are coming from. The files are updated based on the actual version of your software and the update process is performed correctly. For instance, if your infotainment has an older software version than 5600100 and this may vary on the country, you need to update it with the corresponding software version and then with the newest one. Otherwise, the system may not work correctly. Mazda dealer shouldn't charge you for more than 0.3 hours although you will need to leave the car in the workshop for one hour because the whole process of a single update to the higher version takes approximately that much. Thanks for watching.